Good afternoon and welcome to our concert. My name is Chloe Yang and I am the student volunteer and event coordinator for CMI Youth Ambassadors. Our virtual concert series this season has two main goals. First, to continue our mission of bringing chamber music to the community, even in light of the current pandemic. Unprecedented circumstances call for unprecedented ways of making music and we are so blessed to be able to continue to perform for you, be it virtually or in person. Second, and more importantly, many of our concerts this season seek to highlight the compositions and legacies of composers who are not often performed. Music, art, is powerful because it is able to connect to each and every one of us. It is a narrative, a reflection of the human condition, and in many ways, the story of humanity. But this narrative is sometimes incomplete. We are missing many voices from our past, voices who had so much they wanted to say, but were not given the opportunity to. This MLK Day, we are honoring three very influential historic composers of color, Frank Johnson, Florence Price, and Joseph Ballone. We are highlighting not only their incredible music, but their contributions towards pushing for racial equality in classical music in eras where slavery and later segregation prevailed. Once again, thank you for tuning in and please enjoy the concert. Joseph Boulogne Chevalier de St. George was born in 1745 in the French colony of Guadalupe. The son of George Boulogne de St. George, a wealthy plantation owner, and Anne de Tenenon, a Senegalese slave, Joseph was taken to France at a young age where he would have greater opportunities and suffer less overt prejudice as a mixed race man. There he was renowned as a fencing champion and a virtuoso violinist before rising to fame as a composer and conductor of various symphony orchestras in Paris. He composed 14 violin concertos, numerous chamber works, and was one of the pioneers of the Symphonie Concertante, the classical period form of the Baroque Concerto Grosso, where one or more solo instruments contrasted with the orchestra. Later in life, he turned to composing opera and served as colonel of the First Colored Army in the National Guard at the onset of the French Revolution.
Frank Johnson was born in 1792 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and performed with both violin and keyed bugle. He was the first African American to perform public concerts, participate in racially integrated concerts, and publish works as sheet music. He led an all-black band, initially performing solely for the black community, and later also for white socialites and militia units before partaking as leader of the first American band tour in Europe in 1837. Additionally, Johnson was credited as the founder of the Philadelphia School of Composers, likely the first group of its kind in America. A prolific composer, his over 200 published works are mostly lost today, with only manuscripts and piano transcriptions surviving. His historical performances incorporated extensive rhythmic and stylistic improvisation over a more simplistic score, as well as imitations of bird calls and other industrial sound effects a precursor to the jazz and impressionistic movements over a century later.
Price was born in 1887 in Little Rock, Arkansas. She gave her first piano performance at age four and published her first composition at age 11 before enrolling in the New England Conservatory of Music for piano, organ, and composition after graduating as valedictorian of her high school at age 14. She became head of the music department of Clark Atlanta University in Georgia, a historically black college, but later moved to Chicago in the Great Migration. There, her composition career flourished as both her piano works and popular songs were published. And in 1833, she became the first black female composer to have a symphony performed by a major American orchestra when the Chicago Symphony Orchestra premiered her Symphony No. 1 in E minor. She composed over 300 works, including symphonies, chamber music, works for piano, organ, violin, and voice, as well as numerous arrangements for spirituals. Though rooted in European tradition, her music is greatly influenced by African-American spirituals and blues music, a reflection of the fusion of tradition and modernism in the black community at large during the era.